Welcome back. Problem 6-32. So statement is the smooth pin is supported by two leaves A and B and is subjected to compressive loading of 0.4 kN per meter caused by bar C. Determine the intensity of distributed load W0 of the leave of on the pin and draw the shear and moment diagram. So you can see this is the pin and there is a uh, comp compressive load of 0.4 kN that is mentioned over here that is caused by bar C and these are the leaves at point A and B where there is a distributed load mentioned over here that is uniformly increasing load so you have to find the intensity W0 and you have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so first step is that we will find this intensity W0 by using equation sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and taking the upward force as positive so you can see one load which is this one distributed load when converted into point load so it's 0 0.4 into distance is 0 0.60 clear and that that will be downward the other force is this one and this one which when converted it will be equal to 1 over 2 w naught into 20 clear their sum must be equal to zero so there are two forces so two into this term minus 0 0.4 into 60 is equal to zero so i will write that two into w naught into 20 into one over two this will be upward force minus 0 0.4 into 60 will equal to zero so when you solve it you will get intensity w naught is equal to 1.2 kilonewton per meter so this is the answer our of our first part now we will draw the bending moment and shear force diagram so for that i have to draw a vertical line from the ends and first we will draw the shear force diagram so this is the along the length of the pin, uh, pin. So V is in kilonewton. At point A, you can see that at point A we have zero shear. Clear. So this point will be equal to zero. Now uh, this load, which is uniformly increasing load till 20 millimeter distance so this will be equal to 1 over 2 into w naught into length 20 meter 20 millimeter so 20 millimeter in term of meter will be 0 0.02 meter so when we will multiply it will give you 0 point uh, it will give you 12 clear so let this is 5 this is 10 this will be 12 so you are this point you will have 12 since this load is uniformly distributed load is increasing load so shear force will be second degree and the moment uh, the rotation will be counterclockwise okay now we have a distributed load from this point till this point so 0 0.4 into 60 will be equal to uh, uh 24 so 12 minus 20 plus 12 minus 24 will again give you minus 12 so minus 12 will be at this point we will have minus 12 at this point we will have minus 12 will be this one and since this uniformly distributed load is a zero degree line so shear force will be one degree higher and it will be a straight line and again we will have the same force that is given over here that is uh, 1.2 is w naught into 20 divided by 2 so it will be again bring it to 0 so minus 12 plus 12 will be equal to 0 and it will be again a, a curve form okay so this is your shear force diagram now we will move toward the bending moment diagram and we will draw it so this is the length of x and where we have moment that will be in newton into meter clear so at point a we have zero 
clear the first area is this one so this one is approximately triangle so 1 over 2 into 12 multiply by this length which is 20 millimeters so 20 when converted into meter will give you 0 0.08 so let each is 0 0.08 so you will have this one and this will be a third degree equation so okay now your second area is under the shear force diagram is this one so this one is 12 clear this is 30 millimeter you have to convert it into meter divide by 1 over 2 into 12 multiply by 30 will give you uh, 24 uh, 36 uh, okay 12 uh, 12 into 12 into 36 divided by 2 is 18 uh, not 18 36 18 18 okay so 18 plus 0. Point, uh, 18 is actually 0. 0.18 so 0. 0.18 plus 0. Point, uh, 0. 0.08 will give you 0. 0.26 so your new point over here is 0. 0.26 so 0. 0.16 0. 0.8 so points and it will be in clockwise direction because the movement is a straight line with one degree so it will be the second degree and slope will be this uh, curve will be this now here the, we have the same replicate it will bring back it to 0 0.08 so again if i plot this point 0 0.08 so this will be it will be a curve like this the curve will be and the same area over here triangle it will be minus 0.08 so here this is 0.08 minus 0.08 it will bring it to 0 and it will be a third degree curve okay so i will write it 0.26 this will be 0.08 and in the unit will be newton into meter i hope you have enjoyed this video again this is a very simply prob simple problem uh, if you have any question you can ask me in comment section and those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification about my latest video thank you